From Blue Wahoo Stadium in downtown Pensacola, Florida, it is game five of a five-game series, the rubber match between the Montgomery Biscuits and the AA affiliate of the Cincinnati Reds, the Pensacola Blue Wahoos. And hi, everyone. Welcome inside. Chris Adams-Wall, Tommy Thrall. Tommy, it's been a tight series between these two first-place teams. The Biscuits leading the North Division right now. The Wahoos leading the South Division. Could be a possible championship preview, but what do you expect in the rubber match tonight? And tonight we focus on the AA Montgomery Biscuits. And to give us the lowdown, their play-by-play -play man, Chris Adams-Wall, joins us. Uh, live from Montgomery, great to see you again, Chris. And uh, give us a treetops version, if you will, of the Biscuit season. I know they're off to another strong start in the second half at 9-5 and five so far. Yeah, the second half actually has gotten off to a much better start than the first half did. This team started 3-11, and if you can believe that. And at one point on May 17th, they were 16-25. and But that has changed since. They've turned it around. They now own the second-best overall record in the Southern League. They almost won a first-half championship. But now they're off to a great start, as you say, Rich. They're 9-5, and five, and they're tied with the Tennessee Smokies in first place in the second half North Division. Chris, welcome back to the show. You're our first repeat performer on our Down on the Farm <laughs> report. It's good to see you again. Give us an update since we last spoke about the success of the Montgomery Biscuits in the second half of their season. Yeah, well, thanks for having me on again, guys. It's an honor to be here. We're here in rainy Jacksonville at the moment. We were going to do a field shot, but unfortunately the heavens just opened up, so we're stuck inside. Being on the road has helped the Biscuits a lot this season. I can't explain it, but the numbers speak for themselves. Yeah. Coming into the Pensacola series, the Biscuits had scored 252 runs in 41 road games, okay? In the same amount of home games, they had scored 157 runs, so almost 100 <laughs> runs less wow. at wow. home. But now, of course, it's 90 degrees outside in Montgomery, so I guess with the weather, the bats are starting to heat up as well. First two games of this series were one-run affairs, and games two and three went into extra innings. The Biscuits have gotten some help offensively the last two nights with back-to-back -back victories, but a big story has been the defense. Pensacola, third most errors in the league. The Biscuits, though, have played very clean. They've made only 58 errors, the fewest in the league. And it was funny, when we first got Nate Lowe, Brandon Lau went up the same day. Now, they both spell their names the exact same way, <laughs> yes. L-O-W-E, but they pronounce it a little bit differently, and both were cleanup hitters. So Lau left. We lost a Lau, but we got a low. <laughs> and I think when the guys showed up at the clubhouse that day, they saw that L-O-W-E was hitting fourth, and they just assumed, oh, there's Brandon again. But actually, it was, it was this burly six foot four, 235-pound first baseman that's been off to a red-hot start so far. But Nate Lowe, I mean, Florida State League Player of the Month in April and May and then he came up to the Biscuits and he's continued on that trajectory. You had that great story about how he was working out with Francisco Lindor, yeah. the Indians all-star shortstop and Lindor said, man, if you make the double jump, which is go up two levels, I'll buy you a nice watch. Nate Lowe's making a pretty good case for it right now. He might end up with a pretty nice watch. I, I think so. And it's Frankie Lindor. I mean, come on. That's going to be a really nice watch. And then Peter Maris, of course, the grandson of Roger Maris. Just kidding. He's not. But he's playing like it. Set us up for the last part of the season. Yeah, they're being trailed right now by about three different teams. Birmingham, Jackson, and Tennessee. Mm -hmm. We were just at Jackson. That's the team the Biscuits will play if they do make the postseason. And here the Biscuits are on the doorstep of going to the playoffs for a fourth straight year. And then it's on the road to Mobile to face a team we haven't seen since April. So they're probably going to look pretty different, but I like where the Biscuits are sitting right now. This guy hit 462, okay, <laughs> over the course of a season. That, that's Incredible. the highest batting average ever over the course of a single season. You even have a bat that's in Cooperstown. What happened that summer? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Beep. Hope you're ready for these. I feel like fantastic. Little House on the Prairie. Laura Ingalls Wilder. <laughs> he can do it all. Yeah. He's, he's, a, he's a, what, a five-tool player? Five, is that? Plays second and left, and yeah, I think we can go five-tool. I don't know exactly what that means, but sure, let's do it. <laughs> sure, let's go, let's go with that one. Well, hope you guys like Batman, because the Biscuits have a guy named Lucius Fox, who's on the team that was Morgan Freeman's character in the Christopher Nolan movies. Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp, <laughs> yes. or the Blue Wahoos. What's, one of the, what's the cooler name that you think? Gotta go jumbo shrimp because then you get shrimp and biscuits. I mean, wahoos oh, and biscuits. Oh, I like this. Doesn't True. sound as appetizing. <laughs> Genesis is not going to shy away. He's going to go right after you. He has electric stuff, and I'm really excited.
excited for him to start tonight, actually. Yeah, and he's got a great name, by the way. Anybody named Genesis? Uh, uh, another <laughs> one. He does. My favorite part about meeting strangers is telling them what I do and for <laughs> whom I do that. They love it. They say, wait, the, so you make biscuits? Go, no, no, no. This is a baseball team, folks. It'll be Wyatt Strahan on the mound for Pensacola and Benton Moss for the biscuits coming off of his first nine-inning complete game of his professional career. These are the only two teams that have made the postseason the last three years in the Southern League, and we'll find out who wins the series tonight between the Biscuits and Wahoos. Game five, the rubber match is next right here on CST.